and I am back once again. The rush treatment's been sitting here overnight, um, so I'm happy with that. I need to clean everything really nicely, prepare everything for welding. I need to weld this back to here. I need to weld up this hole here. I need to weld up this little slit here. At least I wanna just get that done, just so it's ready for the actual, for the repair piece for this repair piece to actually go on. Yeah, update in a bit. Making moves, we are making moves. Um, it's all cleaned up. Uh, it was a little bit fiddly to try and get it back into its um, place. I've deformed it a little bit, as you can see here, but I'm not too worried about it, that's fine. I'm not gonna stress about that, that's absolutely fine. A little bit of a dip there, but that's all Any good. Ideas? As I'm closing up this section, I really need to think about every single step that I'm doing so I don't end up shooting myself on the foot. Because before I close it, there still needs to be several, several things need to happen. Like, for example, I still need to add a nice thick bead of seam sealer there that bonds this this bit to this bit um i need to before i do anything else i need to give this another another light sanding inside and give it a coat of paint every step that i do i'm really trying to think about everything um because a lot needs to happen before before i close it off but that's all good i'm gonna carry on my i really should have filmed this i just performed the most struggling boy maneuver of my entire life. Oh, so struggly. What is my life? What am I Any doing? Ideas? So I seam sealed these two panels together, and this edge was fine and dandy for me to get to from outside of here using one of these bad boys. I was just like, bloop, 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 bloop. the corner here. Oh, where's it's impossible to get to, and there is like a big gap. And Oh my god, what I was doing. I, I So I took the gun, I put the gun in there like long ways like this. My head was here, looking through this hole, one of my arms was in there, and holy struggling boy, I was like... Anyway, that's in place, that's fine, that's seam sealed. I have made sure that it's gone all the way through and as you can see it's oozing out so it's got good contact on the whole on the whole thing and it's really pushed in Any there ideas? so time to start prepping it for actually closing up I have everything mocked up in place um, but there's still some work that needs doing um, let me show you so this is the repair piece i have screwed the new panel to these two edges there so everything is really nice and tight everything is super super strong um everything lines up pretty good i need to make this gap up here a little bit bigger i'm gonna line up these edges here because i want to do a butt weld between between this and this on the opening i need to file this tight this way i need to file this tight that way and this edge tight to this so then that will give me a really nice smooth transition once everything is done i am gonna carry on playing around with it see where i get to i'm not sure if what i was saying about the drain hole and butt welding Any the ideas? edges um i don't know if that made sense so uh, let me show you that's the edge of the drain hole and that's the edge of the panel and i'm gonna weld all along here and along this edge here now i've um, I filed everything down so this is really nice and smooth and when i weld it i'll be able to sand it down and smooth it off so this is a really nice strong smooth drain hole i want to make this lovely and perfect and strong and good and the rest of the stuff doesn't matter too much it's getting there it's getting there um like i said before at this point i really don't want to I, I, I want to take my time with everything just so I'm able to think so like whilst I'm sitting there and tinkering I'm thinking about um, the process of when I'm actually welding it up and what steps I'm gonna take so then I know like what areas I need to make sure like what, what areas need to be painted what Any areas ideas? I need to hit with zinc primer before I attach them together 
um, but um, I'll, I'll show you what I mean in a minute once once I get all that done. Um, yeah, see you in five hours. Now that all the fabrication process is over, the panel does not need any more work. All of this is welded up, everything's cut and, and, and drilled where it needs to be and everything is all good. Before I close it off, this is my this is my final opportunity to do everything I need to do in there. So I'm going to sand it down, um, give it a light coat of primer, then I'm going to give it a light coat of colour, a few more little um, just niggly bits that need cleaning up like a couple of edges and a few bits need sanding down and stuff but um, oh, soon so soon I'll be able to close that off and then oh, start with a new thing I still um, yeah I'm not going to get too far ahead of myself I'm just going to take it one step at a time <laughs> see you later We have returned to the garage, eh? We're having a little brewskin. If you don't know this beer, this is Brewdog's Elvis Juice, and it is my favorite Ritos. It is lovely. I finally have my friend back in the garage, eh? It's been lonely. I've been here, lonely and around, all alone. How are you? How are we? How are we? Chewy had a haircut. Look at the boy. Look at the haircut on the boy. <laughs> So yeah, he's having a little tidy up on the boy, but what we have to talk about is the door that got painted. Paint experiment. Paint experiment. Uh, there was a healthy amount of orange peel to start with, Any but ideas? that's fine, that's to be expected. So the next stage of paint is to flatten do, it. yeah, to do the sanding and to flatten it. But, but, but as a painter, uh, what have you discovered on this um, on this on this door? Uh, so we went for a sealer coat of thin down epoxy before the final coat of 2K solid paint. That sealer coat isn't flat enough; it's too bumpy, and it comes through, especially with the paint layers that we have on top. So that can't happen again. It's got to go flat, sanded down, high grade. Sounded. The annoying thing about the whole door situation is that it's so close to being like amazing. It's like just one more coat of paint away from being where it needs to be. So here is the is the off the gun finish. As you can see, like the reflection isn't all that. There's quite a, there's a lot of orange peel here. It's hard to pick up on the camera, Small but. It's not massive. It's okay. It's it's not worse than some of the new cars mm. that you see on the road. This this part here, what was what did you do to it? Sand it down to 1200. 1200. 1200 actually to take down the orange peel, then back to 12. And then some compound. Then just some compound. It should have gone up through the grains, but I was just trying to get it. And close. on camera especially, look at the reflection. Like, as the door would be sitting, and if you saw this at a car show, it's look at that, that's amazing. But the issue is, is that if you look closely, we are actually coming through, yeah, there you can see, you're we're coming through the paint Ooh. to the primer. But it's so, it's so close. If literally, if it had like one yeah, more coat, one more thick coat of paint, you would be able to do the do all of these steps and then just get it to this. Oh, it's so close. It's so close, but trial and error. Oh, we'll get there. We'll get there. So yeah, it's important to try things on a on a on a door or a small panel or something before you attack the whole car because there's still this whole thing to do. And yeah, and this is literally, we don't like, we still don't know what the hell we're doing. This is all for the first time, so. The biggest transformation. Look at this. The space. The cleanliness. Chewy. Chewy. What do you think about the cleanliness? I've never been on live television before. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the oh my god! Look at the space. I feel, I feel like a new car in here. 
Oh. Good effort, mate. I'm proud of you. My arms are uh, your trailing arms. <laughs> oh, this is great. This is really, really great. Well done. Very well done. stop looking at this thing this thing is just looking so so cool i can't get enough of it now it's got all the crap off of it yeah i can't wait to see it on the ground there's still so much stuff to do but um yeah if i play the rust it's hard work it's it's really really looking super super cool so yeah whilst that's drying i need to I need to come up with something else to do for a little minute. Um, if all goes to plan, this should be closed off soon. So I'm gonna, fingers crossed if, if all is well, I'm gonna slowly start moving, moving towards the back of the car. And a lot of the stuff is really low down. And even when I get all of this done, I still need to strip everything from here to paint and do whatever. What I need to do is build myself something like this, like we've done on the Mark 1, to lift the car up. And I've got a couple of um, I've got a couple of bits of wood up there that I think I'm just gonna have a little play with and try and get the car off the ground a bit higher. I think what I want to do is take apart all the rear suspension, take the axle out, and then. Up here, where the rear suspension springs sit, that's a really strong point, obviously. And I want to put a big beam across the bottom of the car that will then be its supporting point. Have a big wooden beam going across, across this, across this space, all the way to the other side, and then build some legs on it, and then put some wheels on it eventually and stuff. Yeah, need to think. Need to think. Any ideas? 